Ya se nos puede ir allá. First prize under 19 goes to Matthew. Well done. Matthew gets a £30 tools voucher from Axminster Tools. Lovely. And this is Patrick Gormley. He's from World Skills. He's supporting us today as well. Okay. The over 19 competition. It was a very close event. There was four people tying up there. Very well done, gents. But unfortunately, there was a winner, and the winner was Inut. Well done, thank you very much. Well done. Here's a £30 bike trip for that. To test the maximum speed of the engine. So the reading we got was 64.4 bhp, 33.3 wheel drag at the wheel and the power drag was 25.1. Right, this is the modest diagnostic machine and we're just testing out the injectors and the lambda and the lambda sensor. We're just um, checking the voltage uh, resistance. Is first year students carrying out stone chip repairs, rectifying paint scratches. And we've also got second year students doing um, paint polishing. And then the third year guys, both employed and unemployed, are carrying out three stage pearl effect. They are getting qualifications, they're all working towards City and Guilds qualifications, and the employed guys are also working towards a, a, an MVQ qualification as well. I like spraying body work. Yeah. Oh, and my my and my tutor Stuart's really been helpful. Yeah, he's been teaching me a lot. Yeah, and I've got a lot of confidence now. Yeah. I know artist you, you know. <laughs> what has happened today here? Well, we did, they're running a competition for level 1, level 2, level 3 electronics and also BTEC. And it's going throughout the day since morning, so we had level 1 in, then we get level 2 and 3 together. <laughs> Facilities here are all, of course, brand new. This is oxyacetylene welding in the bays that you can see along this 17 bays. We have arc welding, TIG welding, and MIG welding. Today we've had competition day. Only one sort of person has entered the uh, level two, but we've had several people who have entered level three. And of course, as you can see by the work, all this was welded in the vertical position. There's a lot of pressure, a lot of people, um, there's a lot of pressure and there's a lot of people that actually took part today, which involved a T-fillet, a butt weld and an outside corner and for the TIG, 
um, there was outside corner um, in a vertical position, which is quite difficult. Um, it's used in industry a lot. It's, um, it's quite demanded for in industry because of the level of difficulty involved. And um, yeah, hopefully I did quite well. My name is Oliver Broadbent. I'm director of ThinkUp, an educational design company that created the Big Rig and the Low Carbon Skills Competition that you see behind you. What we did this morning was gave two teams of 15 people solar panels, solar thermal water heaters, timber, buckets, pipes, and we said they had four hours to build a low carbon shower facility. It's really hot. Which one's the hot one? So what's this one that I'm shaking now? Sorry, excuse me. You want to test it now? You want to see it running? Yeah, we need to see the full system running. We need Do you know what? We are, um, are you not proud that it's brilliant? It's actually working? It's it works! Are you excited there, Jess? Oh, Move that bucket away. Move the bucket back! Oh my days! <laughs> We don't care if we don't win. Was it difficult? No. no. Walk in the park. We're hairdressers normally. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Hmm. I think that the ladies one has some really ingenious elbow joints. <laughs> <laughs> Elbow jobs. <laughs> and, uh, and, and this, this, and this, this funnel thing, because basically the uh, the yellow team nicked all the materials uh, at the beginning. Having said that, having said that, having said that, I think that the uh, the uh, yellow team's one is superior. It does capture all the water pretty neatly. You've got to hand it to them. So well done, well done, lads. Well done, lads. Well done, well done ladies. One there that we attached to the green. To the cloud. To the cloud. You mean the cloud? Yes. Yeah, that's what we've got.